Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your wing liner skills. This is just the way I see it. I've told this trick to some of my friends. They've thanked me because their eyeliner skills have improved. So I thought, why not put it into a video and show you guys today? So naturally being an artist i always look at things like a piece of art and makeup is art so whenever for example drawing an eyeball you usually follow from the corner of the eye up meeting it with the eyelid the little line on the eyelid there and that's exactly how i see it on my eye naturally you see you follow from the corner of the eye meet it a little bit with the eyelid and you can always bring this down just a little bit as well if you're feeling confident you can go ahead and just freehand this take your eyeliner follow the line there on the corner of your eye and I always tilt my head up and have the mirror kind of below me so I can see the angle a little better on how I want it to look try to fit it to your eye shape I know monolids are a little different so try to find once you have the corner of your eye try to find what fits your eye shape meeting it a little bit with that fold on where the eyelid is once you have the corner that's it the rest is easy you just fill it in and then you can follow that line into the rest of your eye to kind of match it in. I think the hardest part is really just the wing part so here's another tip I've told people in real life They've also thanked me for, and it is a bobby pin. If you'll take the bobby pin, you'll notice it fits perfectly on the corner of your eye, meeting up with the eyelid fold that I was talking about earlier. And it also looks like a wing liner. All you're gonna do is take your liquid liner. All you really need is where that little triangle meets, and you're gonna stamp it on. And it gives you a perfect guide to go ahead and continue the liner. So, depending how you angle the bobby pin will also depend the angle, of course, of how your wing liner turns out to be. You're just going to go ahead and fill that in, fix up anything you feel like you might need to fix. And I feel like the next important part is also talking about the product that you're using. A black liner pencil is just not going to cut it. You need something with a nice sharp edge. Uh, for me, I have the Bomb Cosmetics liquid liner and also the NYX liquid liner. These two, honestly, I think are the best because of the very sharp brush. But I kind of like the Balm Cosmetics a little bit more just because the brush feels a little more sturdier, but it's also very skinny. And that is pretty much it. Again, this is just how I see it in my head when I'm going to go ahead and do my wing liner, which helps me a lot in the end. Um, I hope this helps some of you out in any way, shape, or form. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.